So, friends. What do you think this one is? Here is our video to. Always a surprise, eh? For me to show you how to. Make a good likeness of. Dead. Diane Udale in Kingdoms of Anaware Reckoning, baby dolls. One way or the other. So. Let's get to it then. So, um. I personally think. That you get the best likeness of Diane Udell's face in um, from the uh, Varani, from the choices of Varani women faces. Although you can get a pretty good likeness from um, you can get a pretty good likeness of her uh, from the Almain faces as well. I think. But um, let's give this a try, shall we? So we're going with a Varani. Not having them worship any of the in-game gods because of my OCD. So, this is the five choices of face that, that you... Um, you can choose from initially, but don't fear, folks, because you can change how they look as well in much greater detail here, as you can see. So, um, just see if I can remember which face I found looks most like Diane Udale, I think. Our Jet from Gladiators, the original 1992 Gladiator. I don't know why my mouth started turning her around when I wasn't even hovering over her. I think my mouth is just uh, in the process, starting to go through the process of structural deterioration. Or operation or deterioration, however you want to put it. So, yes, I think that face is most like Diane Udale. So, let's go for the skin tone now. It's tough to say. I mean, in one of my favorite pictures of her, her skin looks kind of white and pale, but pink in places, kind of, so, um, I would say, um, I'd say the very palest, forgive me if I'm wrong. And her eyes, from what I can remember, kind of greyish, maybe like that. Go, go with these eyes. And um, I don't um, from the picture that I remember. Don't really think she. Has much eye shadow darkness really our coloration. Looks awful mysterious with with the dark eye shadow, doesn't she? But I'd say make it very light. And, um, lipstick colour. Well, um, the, my favourite picture of her, her lipstick's kind of, um, cherry red. So let's up the intensity like so. Maximise the intensity to make her lips an outstanding cherry red. Uh, 
like so. And now, um, I think that her style is about right. I mean, um, I tend to prefer her without a fringe, and that's what her hairstyle is like most of the time. So, um, it's not short like that, obviously. Not like that. I've never seen her like that. I think she was kind of like that at points in her, um, <coughs> I don't know, music video myself when she was, um, portraying an ancient ancestral version of herself back in the days of cavaliers and swords and chivalry. Not like that. For the record, I think that's what Diane Newdale would look like bald, curiously enough. I wonder what it would feel like to play the bongos with Diane Newdale's head if she was bald. Yes, so we'll be going with this uh, default uh, style since I feel it's the most like the one she has in real life, the way which shows her forehead, accentuates her forehead nicely, and it's reasonably long and voluminous at the back. I mean, I know she generally never seems to have that tied up bit at the back, but... Then again, there is no other hairstyles in this which flow long and straight without being tied at all in any way, shape or form. Wait, what's this hairstyle? Oh, that's one that I don't think in any way resembles any of her hairstyles, pretty much. can see her skull from the back when she's bald, can't you? Which one's this one? Too much of a fringe, I say, but from the back it's nice, it's nice. More uh, like Diane Udell's hairstyles, I would say. And so, um, yes, we'll go with this one. And um, for the hair core, I think, um, in the picture I remember, and from her Gladiator Prime, her uh, hair was like a kind of light brown, chestnutty kind of colour, wasn't it? Quite a variety of her colours in this game, isn't there? But let's give her the light brown, chestnutty kind of her colour. And of course, make your eyebrows the same colour. Like so. Uh. And I'm not going to give her any jewellery or tattoos or anything, but... Um, just to show you folks out there, baby dolls, it'd be... What Diane Udale would look like with tattoos. Let's turn and go around again when I don't want to. I find it funny to uh, imagine what she'd be like with this, with this facial tattoo. Especially if we uh, make it more of a fancy colour. Like say white. No, not white, but um How about pink with how Diane is a is a girl a real girly girl you could say. 
and opt out in tents at sea. An intriguing sight, isn't she looking like that? And rather scary with it being a jet black tattoo. Forgive my pun, ladies and gentlemen, when I say jet black. But no. We're not going to give her any tattoos. None whatsoever. So, just a, just as a final check. I'd say we've got the right face. Isn't that music nice, eh, baby dolls? So let's get into it. And I think that she'll look even more like Diane Udale when... When she's on the slab, like so, after being mysteriously killed, isn't this a sad and unfortunate tragedy, eh, baby dolls? But fear not, it's only a temporary state of affairs after all. Must have been born under a lucky star this week. As we will find out. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name her, I think we're done. Put her with the others. Momentarily. But first, like our good gnomish gentlemen say, we get to name her. And obviously, we're going to name her. Ooh, ooh, Jack. Yes. Ooh, ooh, jet. Now let's go. Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time. Oh, I'm sure we will have better luck next time. Waking up in the midst of a pile of bodies. Pleasant way to wake up, isn't it? Their, in their increasing musical tone seems like it goes on forever, doesn't it? But she doesn't have any memories uh, about her past as a gladiator here, eh? No, it's all just about survival at this point in time, baby dolls. Look at those flies everywhere as well. Not quite a glamorous end or beginning that she anticipated, I would imagine, eh? What's with the coughing also, mind your manners, young lady. So yes, here we are now. Starting the game. Let's just collect the things that I usually collect. And collect our first weapon of the game here. A rusty sword. And watch her equip it, like so. Looking rather doll-like in her dramatic pose there, eh? And through we go now. Let's get more of a profile look at her here. Maybe she'll be more brightly lit up down here, eh? 
amidst all these bodies. Well, not quite, but still light enough anyway, I would say. Look at those massive body piles over there, eh? Sounds like a good idea, folks. Let's press on. I feel my laptop fan getting a bit hotter now. Breaking open these barrels for coins like so. And here we have giant rats. I did set this on hard mode, didn't I? There we go. That deals with that little problem of those rather feisty carnivores, doesn't it? And they're still fighting out there. Well, it looks like that silly to offer gentleman over there has just defeated his gnomish foe. Would we really want to escape from a man of your charm? You up there, please help me, please. Oh, I get a feeling these to offer a slightly racist myself, calling me mortal scum. And why is this friend just um, standing over here? Not paying any attention to what's going on. Quite satisfying to juggle these helpless victims of ours, isn't it? And now we have better clothing, which we'll, we will be equipping soon enough. Thank you. But we're in we're in a conversation now, aren't we? On the slab, you, you were dead. It worked. By the tome, it worked. You're alive. Yes, yeah, such a gracious occasion, this, isn't it? I'm not dead. No, no, clearly not. Not anymore. But you were. The Well of Souls remade your body. We thought you were another failure. You know something, um, well, I think it'd be really good if maybe at some point in time I can right get you my hands on a mod for this game that will let me put her in her pink gladiator outfit, because I think she'd really look like her uh, dead myself, really. The Well of Souls is his life's work. The two author are coming into the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. I am proud to get such a good likeness of her too. Tends to um, have a slightly dramatic side to him, this little gnome, and so doesn't he. So let's just get the supplies from this room like so. The coins and such. I know I seem like I'm dying around a bit, but believe me, I'm going quite fast compared to what I usually do since I tend to be over. I tend to be prone to over searching with my OCD when I play normally. But I know speed is of the essence and time pretty much here without I'm doing a video. Um, Nasty to offer gentlemen up there just then, weren't we? So let's open this door now, like so. And press on further. Oh wait, I haven't um, put the new clothes on her yet, have I? I just battered her armor, for instance, which is a whole lot more nicer and 
smooth, very more protective than what she was currently previously wearing, isn't it? And warm leggings like so. And boots, so that she won't be barefoot all the time. Isn't that nice and considerate of me after all? So, let's just check out this room for supplies, too. Because we need a shield to press on further, you see, Sunny Jim. Wait! Do you hear something? Not particularly, no. Anyway, let's equip our shield now, shall we? Stealing with your CD. And we have gloves now too that we can equip also, as you can see. So now back into the fight. And now we have a shield, we can parry them. That wasn't how you parry, by the way. This is how you parry, like so. Stunning them in the middle of their attacks. No oh, thanks, I'd rather see you die myself. And now... We get a bow. This is the kind of weapon which um, roguish characters, Hoffiness characters, as the game says, use in battle. And I get the feeling that if Diane knew Dale was in this kind of a scenario, she would be a roguish finesse kind of individual myself rather than a might kind of character which I pretend which I prefer to utilize with swords and heavy weapons such as hammers and great swords and such but then again I know Diane Udale says she's the type of person who is more gentle and neutral in life and as such she most probably wouldn't be in this kind of situation full of violence and conflict and death and bloodshed as we're seeing here but um, obviously that wouldn't really be possible in these kinds of scenarios and circumstances in a game like this, would it? And with Diane Udale also being intelligent, I suppose you could um, imagine her maybe being a sorcery magic kind of character, but... Um, that seems a bit sinister for her, really. And so now we... Never mind, um... I'll leave this stuff on her. Oh no, actually I won't. I'll put... I'll, um, put the more metallic armor on her now, to what we have. Just for variety's sake, folks. And off we go, to get a da set of daggers, which is also um, the kind of weaponry that a finesse character would use, with the speed and stealth and whatnot. Now we have gauntlets that we can put on rather than gloves as well, like so. Much more resistant to physical harm, after all. 
and attrition, I suppose you could say. And structural damage. So now it's time for some stealthy killing here with our daggers, like so. Isn't that brutal, eh, folks? And let's put on a chest plate as well. Rather than the leather, I think, that she's currently wearing. Much more well protected now at the expense of some stealthy maneuverability. God doesn't make mistakes, my son. That's a lesson you'll learn now that I'm in the process of killing you, eh, Sonny Jim? Down you go. Don't ask me why it's just floating in the air there, rather than falling down. Assistance to that kind of thing. Baby dolls. And here we're coming across... Our first fight against a giant spider. Let's go. Parrying its attacks like so. With the skill and dexterity you'd expect of someone like me, even though I traditionally prefer to go with my characters. And now we have um, a staff. The kind of weapon that sorcerers and mages prefer. Which we need to burn through this spider's web here, like so. Strange how I could hit that spider that was behind me when I was facing away from him. With this staff strike just then, isn't it? Seems a bit convenient how spiders can just come up out of the ground like that, doesn't it, say, eh, baby dolls? Another healing potion which should come in handy. And now we're going up against a big troll, a big rock troll. The fish you believe so much in. They think I am just another two legs. They are wrong. I am a wolf, cursed to wear this shape by evil sprites as. But Diane's thinking, if only this man could meet Michael Van Wilke. But two leg bodies are so clumsy. They can't even catch the meat birds. For those of you out there who have watched Gladiators, you'll know what I mean, folks. Now I smell them, but I cannot fight in this form. Will you help, Two Legs? And let's head in here. A murder has happened, does it? You're not at all what I expected to find here. You killed oh, Arden. Not the name of this fate weaver. No, the Tuatha I was following killed him. I was hoping his corpse would give me an idea of why they were here. Now I know. They were hoping to find you. The only thing missing from Diane Udale here is the little dimple that she... I sometimes notice above her lips. Knowing you, you're definitely involved. Above her Has top lip. Me? I know you better than you knew yourself. We're seeming a bit perplexed by this rather suspicious young you lady, have no aren't idea we? Who I am, do you? This is starting to make sense. But no time for As you can see, now. she's no, something of an elf lady. A docker far. Be on your way. As the game would call her race, as the game would, uh, would announce her race to be. Aaron's dead. How did this happen? But I think I'm going to have to take you to Delok. <laughs> Delok! <laughs> it's a sacred place to weave fate weavers. Somewhere that I was hoping to avoid. I was hoping Arden could take you, but I guess it comes down to me. 
No reason getting anyone else killed over it. Go, I'll meet you there. Once I give Arden a proper funeral. This is twice now I've buried the bodies left. Oh, in. shut your whining up. Looking at Our armor sure does so seem to be doing a number on Jack's hair here, doesn't it? it? My nephew Thaddeus up and left for died in not, me, not allowing it to look quite as long and glorious as it should. It was taken from me. Beasts of the wild scared her off. As it, of how it should be flowing like a splendorous waterfall. In the serene glow of the sunlight. I bet you could indeed. But that's only half of it. does so look that. rather also find my bride to be. Then rather dazzling talk to people in this armor door, doesn't she? I need to prepare. You best start by the pier. If she's not there, keep heading south. Doesn't look quite so jet like though oh, in this now. big bulky I armor, I don't think. <laughs> We should be able to dispatch him with great dispatch after all. And just like that, he's done for. Ah, there she is. My, thank you, stranger. Bless you. Now, if you don't I remember what I was going to try and do here. Kiss. Any last words for a crusty bachelor? My Not new. really. Oh, that disgusting etching with a glance. <laughs> Beauty kills even the beast, so they say. Did you not Our see a well know that. Up in the lake? It's where we first met, you know. A grand spot for our union. Well, friend, if there's nothing else, I'm off. You're welcome to witness the event if you care to. Well, it does sound like it'll be a particularly momentous, momentous event. About? That was my name. If I even not said that word me. correctly, Staring you right Mem in the face. momentous. Well, I'm not going to stand here and suffer the unfounded insults you keep slinging. Going to my wedding. There goes nothing. Something doesn't tell me this is going to go so well. Oh, you and she. We're not going to have any more of your troublesome ways, young lady. And look at that cute owl up there as well. You're not gonna mourn the death of that thing, are you? In Conneg or whatever your name is. That was no nymph, stranger. After all, you don't Just seem quite so happy. Enough sadness in your life, dear. Follow the beasts there. But if you, ah, well, you've helped me enough. Our jets in thought in regards to well, what kind well, of kind soul individual would steal. As soon as I saw him. Somewhere on the lake. And also sure romantic it. wedding ring. One of those etiquette oh, charm. South, along the shore. That matter. He's somewhere on this lake. I know that much. Now we have a helm. Wait. Now we have a helm, which I think. Looks kind of like what our jet would have worn in jewel in Gladiators, and I think her face looks just like Diane Udale's, as she would have looked when she wore helmets, when she wore helmets playing the jewel game in Gladiators. But yes, now that we've now that we've done this, what I want to do... It's time... Time to stop our video, folks. And I'm glad that in a gladiator that I've managed to... get such a good likeness of... Diane Udale, folks.